Shalom, like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, the bonds to the apostle of great millstone of whom I learn is truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect of whom I hope to be. Uh, my name is Karnawak from Jim West Toronto. Doing a lesson here, quick lesson. And um, there's a lot of things going on here in Canada. And, um, you know, what's going on in Canada is getting, it's going from bad to worse man um a lot of things is happening you know we're see we're seeing the fall of our empire you know um you know and uh there's a whole a whole bunch of things going on man and um you know we're the seers right so we're the ones who's uh who's warning our people and these nations as things that's gonna happen you know and all you know things that's gonna that, that like that's gonna befall this earth you know because um let me get that scripture jeremiah i think 28 jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence right so just like the prophet jeremiah you know and um you know like we're doing the same thing what prophet you know like the prophet jeremiah was doing you know you know of war of pestilence you know with this whole uh this c-o-v-i-d the COVID, you know um and all these pestilence and stuff you know that's that's coming upon the earth you know is uh you know we're prophesying about this you know and um and it's happening in real time right now and um you know i'm gonna watch i'm gonna um Play this this video. This is off of uh, TikTok. You know, we're seeing the of the, we're seeing the fall of a great empire. Rest in peace, Canada. Right. This is off of this uh, the TikTok. Name. So we're seeing we're seeing the fall of their empire, man. And uh, we know, you know, what they have sowed on this land was a uh, blood. You know murder you know of the north american indian the rubenites you know of uh the ishikarites you know throughout north central and the caribbean you know like, like what they were you know the kind of things the kind of atrocities that was done on on our people man numbers 35 verse 33 so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood defileth the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it right so the the piper has to be paid man right because they you know like they're reaping a lot of you know or like they reaped a lot of wealth and riches and substance off of our bloodshed man you know the transatlantic slave trade you know and uh you no know, a lot of stuff man there's a whole transatlantic slave trade man you know and also the northern kingdom too like they were um put into cargo slave ships as well you know, and brought to the certain parts of Europe, you know, uh, like the Caribbean. So, so these, you know, they have a lot of things, man, like to play, you know, a lot of things to pay for. To fall not the land, it says, it says, they fall not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell. For the I, the Lord, dwell among the children of Israel, right? You know, Canada. You know, or Canada, 
right? Which means Canaan, you know? When you go into that word like Canada or whatever, basically means land of the Canaan, right? Where, you know? And, uh, you know, because, you know, we inhabited, you know, like this land for, for a long time, for thousands of years. All right, when you go into the um, second Ezra's 13 verse 40, you know, during the time of the Assyrian captivity, right, where basically we were dwelling in the land of Israel, but the kingdom of Israel was split, you know, after the death of King Solomon, you know, with Rehoboam and Jeroboam, and uh, the kingdom was split, you know, and um, it's like 722 BC, you know, like a lot of our people went into the Assyrian captivity, right? And uh, they were in that captivity for a certain amount of time. And they came over to the Americas. All right. If you go, if you go into that. Uh, kind of all over the place. Don't bear with me. But um, yeah, let me start this thing. Introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. In a free society, we don't freeze bank accounts. That is the most horrendous thing that regimes, failed regimes around the world, in their dying days, you know what they do? They print money, they remove civil liberties, and they freeze bank accounts. It's not that difficult to view what's going on in Canada through a lens of mistrust. And we need leadership to bring the healing once we're through this pandemic. Yeah, right now, you know, they're they're freezing people's banks accounts, you know, with the whole the, the whole trucker convoy. You know, uh, that was last year. Here in Canada there's a trucker convoy. And um, they froze a lot of the truckers' accounts and stuff, and it's gonna come here. And um, you know, the, the social credit score system, you know, like China's already doing that, you know, and um, you know, if you uh, jaywalk or you, you, you spit, you do something, whatever, that's against. You know, you know, like they find you or they freeze your damn account, and that's what exactly what's gonna happen. And um, this ultimately is gonna lead to the mark of the beast, you know. Um, we, you know, and basically, uh, for the past two years with the whole, uh, the whole, um, uh, this whole outbreak, this pandemic. Is a way to uh, you know, to control people and to uh, get something into their blood, you know, with the Lucifer race. Yeah, right? basically, it's like a thing that's co that's connected with. Uh, you know, it goes into your blood or whatever, and and like they could. It's a lot of it's a lot of um, scientific research and uh this is a whole research thing and uh it's connected with uh 5g towers and everything goes through your bloodline you know um it's like it's a whole thing right so um we gotta uh be very mindful you know things are gonna get a lot more intense and um and they always were showing these things in a lot of these movies, man, you know. Um, when you watch movies like Demolition, man. Um, you know, Total Recall. You know, and all these big, you know. Um, you watch that movie, uh, it's, it's called, I think, The Elysium. 
Now, I think Elysium. A lot of those movies, right? They're like basically, you know, that people were basically chipped up. And, uh, and you had no freedom or nothing. And that's exactly what we're living in, man. You know? So, like, that's where the Lord's going to come. You know, because they, uh, you know, because they want to oppress everybody. And and ultimately, you know, I, I like they're out for the children of Israel, man. You know, said they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So, so you know. Yes. Fuck you. 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 Look at that. There you go. Uh, even with this, you know, the Chinese and the, like this guy is a Canadian patriot. Right? And, um, you know, they're trying to basically, uh, you know, like come together and try to fight against this guy, Justin Trudeau or whatever. But, um, you know, like these guys are just puppets, right? This is a whole thing that's orchestrated by the international bankers, you know, by international bankers, by these uh, elite banking families who run this world. And, um, you know, and uh, basically uh, it doesn't matter because that's, that's why I think in Proverbs it says, though hand join the hand, so the wicked shall not go unpunished. So, uh, the wicked, each of you devils and these other nations, man, like you, you know, like you devils aren't going to go unpunished, you heathen, man. You know, your kingdom is going right down to the toilet, man. You're getting Job 20. You know, their kingdom is going right down the toilet, man. Um, that's what we're trying to figure out. So basically, what it states on uh, what I can find on the internet um, for this national framework is a guaranteed livable, a guaranteed livable uh, basic income. So GLBI. Um, the GLBI is a predictable cash payment provided unconditionally by the government to all individuals in Canada who need it without requirements to work or seek work, training and education in order to build on or our current social safety net and afford all persons in Canada with a basic income. So that all sounds great, but I thought we already had a social welfare program that takes care of that for people. So I'm just not sure where they're trying to go with this and how this all fits in with uh, the globalization and our digital ID, where we will own nothing and be happy. WTF is happening. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, luck, yeah. Yeah, so this thing is getting this thing is getting real and uh, you know things aren't gonna go back to how it was you know in the nineties or mid two thousand or the early two thousands, you know, this this thing is uh, going down the pipe, you know, World War Three is uh is almost at this is almost uh you know, it's almost at, 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 at hand, it's basically at hand, you know, but basically the whole MOTB system has to be rolled out. The mark of the beast system that's going to be rolled out on the earth. And uh, that's it, man. And uh, so we got to be, uh, we got to be very mindful, look out, because uh, 
these people like they already gave in, you know, in, like to get in the vaccination or stock it, cause I don't want to mess up the algorithm. But you know that these people already got the dart in their arm, or whatever, and uh, you know the dart is connected with, uh, you know, with the five G and everything, the whole system, where it has all your records, everything, and uh, this is the whole system. What uh, you know, the elite are rolling out on the people, right? You know, like this. This is the whole system, right? Revelation thirteen verse um, started at um, fourteen, and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the by the means of those miracles, which had power to do in the sight of the beast right and basically like that's what they're basically doing you know with these miracles you know what they're doing with their science with their their science and uh basically uh this artificial intelligence you know that they're rolling out on the people and uh they're injecting them you know with this uh the sea hip you know, and basically, uh, you know, they're basically saying, yeah, oh, if you're blind, you know, you could have this and, you know, there is doing out this. There's a lot of, uh, if you watch a lot of, uh, go on YouTube, you watch, you know, the benefits of, uh, the RF, RFID or the C hip, you know, it, like they're doing a lot of wonders, man. And, um, you know, and, uh, you know, they're basically, so, uh, I made a video a couple of days ago, what about, um, driverless cars and all that stuff, you know, like this is what the devil's rolling out. He already has this shit in motion, right? Driverless cars, you know, driverless trucks or whatever. So, you know, uh, these artificial robots, you know, so. You know, you, like you, let's say you're working at a, a, a factory or whatever, warehouse or doing, you know, certain, certain kinds of jobs. You know, the damn robots are going to do everything, man. You know. And uh, so they're messing up people's livelihood and they're doing a lot of things, right? And um, the robots were going to take over, man. You know, that's why they show you those things. Watch that movie with Will Smith, I, um, I Robot, and all that stuff. And, you know, that's real. You know? And um, the devil, man. This is uh, the devil, man. He, this is the wicked, man. All right? Because he's basically accomplished. He, he basically has, he, he accomplished a lot of, a lot of wonders, man. And that's why the Lord's going to have to like put a halt, you know, to their uh, plan. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which, which had to, which had the, which had the wound, wound by a sword and did live, right? So basically, um, you know he's living right because uh you know because they're in the middle ages you know the dark age we were in power right and uh we basically uh fell the byzantine empire you know um spain portugal right we, we, like we were driven out you know for the most part and um you know and and then esau lived you know, and uh, he created an image, you know, that he's God and, you know, with his, um, his Christianity and he, you know, where they basically, they destroyed our images, like, you know, a lot of our images of the saints and, and um, the holy saints of our people and all that. And, and they made himself that he's God and, um, and now he's he's ruling he, he you know he, he he has the power he has all the science the technology and you know and uh 
Let me continue. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's what's going to happen. All right. You know, people who are going to resist, especially the elect, you know, because the elect aren't, aren't going to, you know, um, get the mark. You know, the most I know who their elect is. Yeah, and and they're not gonna get the mark, and they're not gonna be deceived. All right, so they're gonna, the elect are gonna, you know, you know some of our people are gonna be martyrs. You know, some of the elect will be martyrs, you know, for uh, testimony, you know. But they're gonna be the first, the like the firstborn, or or it's like they're gonna be the first one who's gonna be risen up. You know, when all hell's gonna break loose, man. You know, when the whole uh, World War Three is about to kick off and all that, man. You know, and that when the Lord comes, right? He caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, so if... Um, all these different Israelite groups, if they're not really talking about this and they're talking about all oh, the mark of the beast is, um, you know, sleeping with white, uh, uh, um, sleeping with white woman or, you know, th there's a whole bunch of mad, mad breakdowns of, you know, of these uh, different members who's not, you know, the IUIC and, um, you know certain 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 members of these other israelite sects um and they're not going into it man all right we don't know if uh you know like some of these guys are are are, are paid off and some of these guys are just bugged out man you know and they're um uh, and they're being deceived right but um with that, let's all praise due to you. How about Shem and Shai? The honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Shalom.